Real Views and Viruses, my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to Duncan Romper 2 Goodbye Despair. This is episode 44 now. So, my goodness, last two episodes we did the fifth trial. Chiaki Nanami was found out to be the traitor and was summarily executed. I mean, that case was friggin' mental, let's be honest. I, you know, it, it was a strange one to begin with, of course, with all the different elements to it and tying them all together. And you know me, I kind of fucked up a few of the uh, mini games during it. But holy crap, that took some interesting turns when we kind of learned the full extent of Nagato's plan and, you know, just what it was he was intending to do. That was, that was insane, you know. That was actually quite interesting to see a case where the culprit had actually, well, not the culprit, rather, I should say, but where the victim himself had actually engineered it to try and create an unsolvable murder. That really was quite something, quite unique, and I, you know, looking back on it, I quite enjoyed that. But of course, it means that my gaming waifu is now dead. So I'm just left with my princess waifu. <laughs> How sad, yes. Well, we're going to get straight back into it. No, also, because obviously, I'm starting to increasingly... Right, here's the thing. You remember in the last episode, towards the end, there was that weird glitching on the screen as well? I, you know what? Some of my guesses have been remarkably kind of accurate in this game so far. I mean, granted, you know, I still fuck things up on occasions, but... Overall, I'm quite confident in my ability to sort of guess certain things that are going on uh, in terms of the storyline here. I'm going to just stake my whole kind of... Um, I'm just going to put my claim on the line right now. This is a virtual reality. It's got to be. Because what's with the glitching that we saw at the end of the last episode? What was that? That wasn't the game. That was something that was meant to happen. So, of course, so something, you know, something's kicking off now. The timer, you know, in the centre of Ireland, that's counting down. So we're just going to keep going, because I want to do at least another episode, this recording session. Hajime has left his cottage, and he, uh, he's apparently run into someone. Arr! When I left the cottage, I randomly ran into her. Hello there. Um. Um. I'll be honest, that was not expected. You... You're dead. How... Okay, no, let's just go with it and see where it's going. Uh, how'd you make good timing? Arr, good timing, what do you mean? See? Remember Nagato's video message that we found at the factory? Hajime, how are you not... She's dead! Are you not alarmed by the fact she appears to be in front of you right now? You know, that's an interesting question, though, actually. If this is a virtual reality, then are these people actually being killed? Or are they just being awoken, so to speak? What's actually happening to them? Or is it, I don't know, actually designed so that it kills them when they die in the virtual reality? I don't know. So many questions. Aye, when we were dealing with the bomb ruckus, what about it? Well? Unless this is all in Hajime's head, I don't know. This particular moment. Apparently there was more to that message inside that laptop. Her? Yep. We weren't able to see it until a day or so had passed. Apparently it was locked by a timer. Hmm. Did he set it up so we won't be able to watch it until after the class trial? Her, why would he do that? Perhaps. Maybe Nagato planned to leave this as a will. Arr, Nagato's will? Where is it right now? Um... We were just planning to meet at the restaurant and watch it together. Arr, got it, the restaurant. Wh what? Wait, I'm sorry, wh wh wait, whoa, 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 no, no, no. But... She's dead! How was she just appearing to me? What the fuck is going on? Or is the freaking virtual reality glitching? Sorry, I just moved my microphone then, it slipped down a bit. Alright, go to the restaurant. Something something weird's happening now. Right? Because how does Hajime not even question the fact that he just saw Chiaki die? And suddenly she was there. Yo! Hey, you're late! Oh, uh, is it true? Nagito really left another message. <laughs> G'day mates, kneel before Miss Sonya and thank her. She was the one who found it. <laughs> I was going for a walk with Gundam's hamster, and I found it when I stopped by the factory. Listen well! Oh. Oh, it's glitch. 
Oh my god, for a second I actually didn't realise who it was then. Right. Yeah. There's a glitch in the Matrix, everyone. People who are dead seem to be coming back. Oh, hi, hmm, for coincidence, you say. Wrong. That is the will of causality garden, yeah. Huh? Can I, mates? Why would Miss Sonia be going for a walk with Gundam? I never allowed that. Damn right. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. The Matrix is bugging out. It's a... Uh, the killing school trip is coming to an end. That's what Monokum has been saying. Hey, Louis, so anyway, let's hurry up and play it. Arr, you're right. What is it? Mm, I wonder who's watching this message. Okay, I don't have to do the voice acting. <laughs> oh, maybe I do instead. <laughs> is it the traitor from the Future Foundation? If so, congratulations. Looks like it ended the way I hoped it would. It didn't, though, did it? Because your aim was to get everyone except the traitor killed. Which makes me wonder. Because here's the thing, right? The students have been operating along the assumption that the Future Foundation is bad. Because the Future Foundation, from what they believe, are the ones responsible for their incarceration, if you want to put it that way, on this island. But the important thing to know is that originally it was Usami who was their teacher, quote-unquote. Monokuma didn't come in until a bit afterward. And when he arrived, he sort of corrupted the whole thing and began the killing... the killing school... Um, the killing school life again. Which is interesting. And of course, you know, we know that this one is taking place definitely after the first game. It's not a prequel or anything like that, because there were references to the original Killing School game from Trigger Happy Havoc. So the question is, obviously in the world outside, the tragedy has occurred. Is it still ongoing? Hmm. And is, you know, because Nagato, although he's crazy, he's all about hope. That's the thing. Every action he takes is about hope. So if he was trying to save the traitor, does that mean there was something about Chiaki that he thought was worth saving. Which raises all kinds of questions about who the Future Foundation might be and what their motives might be. Are they the bad guys in this? I don't know. The students, like I said, they've been operating on the assumption that they are, but we don't actually know that. Hmm. Of course, that means, you know, if we're all supposed to be the symbols of hope, as students of Hope Speak Academy... Why would he want to save specifically Chiaki and not save all of us? Because, you know, it's, it's been kind of clear that his behaviour towards many of his fellow students after the whole Funhouse chapter seemed to change. He became kind of more hostile towards other people. Of course, the question is, why is that? Or oh, ended the way he hoped it would. Damn it. Hey, Louis, Nagato was trying to kill everyone except the trader. Damn it. It was just as Monokuma said. Hey! Hey! Can I make so he really set up the traitor as the killer? And even try to make them survive the trial? But why would he do that? <laughs> oh god, there's another one. It's Ultimate Imposter, not Byakuya Tagami. Enough with your useless talk. It appears there's still more. <clears throat> But if everyone but the traitor is watching this video... How unfortunate. Then unfortunately, I guess I lost. That outcome is the complete opposite of the hope I believe in. Well, not that it matters for me anymore. I mean, no matter what the outcome is, it doesn't matter for a dropout like me. Now then. Let's put this meaningless introduction aside and get down to business. Since I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm going to speak so that both sides will understand. First of all, you might be wondering why I did what I did. Well, I just took action after talking about it for so long. The special prize in the final dead room allowed me to learn a certain truth. It would be troublesome if everyone found out, so I already disposed of that page. But anyway, I was totally surprised. I mean... Okay, that was a bit of ear rape. Oh, the world is just breaking down. The Future Foundation's traitor must have known that truth all along. And so, I was able to learn the truth about this world, and resolved to take action immediately. 
I shouldn't have made fun of Hajime. Deep down, I always wanted to become a protagonist myself. <laughs> sort of pushing the fourth wall a bit, but okay. Oh god, it's happening again. But now that I know that truth, as I look back on, on Monokuma's actions, I'm starting to see what he's planning. By giving us information about the island's mystery and the future foundation, he's raising all your hopes. But only so he can lead you to unimaginable despair. <laughs> Plus, Monokuma's trying to show that despair to someone. Perhaps that someone is... Whoa, whoa, seriously pissing me off. Plus, hell and... What does it say? Is that leaf speech, kind of... Hell and ice to am be a vezo meth one in ng okay it's just gobbledygook isn't it jeez what an hopeless truth who is monokuma's true identity how could they come up with a plan like that now then that's enough reflecting on the past let's talk about the future now if you want to escape monokuma's plan there's a specific place you need to go to the key to enter that place is that message you found at Nezumi Castle. What? Well... But normally you need to follow a bunch of steps to enter that place. But since that message gets rid of those steps, you can think of it as an easter egg or something. It was probably left by someone other than Monokuma or Monomi. But that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Stop it, stop it, don't. My god. I had to hide this until my plan came to an end, but I guess now's a nice time to announce it, right? So then, I'll announce the password. One, one, two. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One, one, zero, three, seven was the... Well, I was about to say the code from the first trial of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Spoilers, if you haven't watched that. It's a thing that everyone thought was a number, but it actually wasn't. Nice little reference back there, game. Okay, 11037. <laughs> that is the password that was written in Nezumi Castle. You have to use that to enter that specific place. That's the only way you can escape Monokuma. I feel like I've been talking forever, but that's all for me. With this, my duty is finished. I... I believe my actions will become the foundation of this world's hope. And if that really happens, praise me. Tell others what I've accomplished. Erect a bronze statue of me. Respect me. All right, don't lay it on, mate. Please call me the ultimate hope. Oh, God. It's freaking out. Arr, this was Nagato's final message. Um... That 11037 number that Nagato said was the password. Uh... Oh god. What was your voice? Um... It was the... The kind of slightly pedantic one. Uh, actually, there's no mistaking it. That's the password to enter that ancient ruin. Hey. You better hurry, I think. Let's go before the countdown reaches zero. Arr, you're right. Let's go. Oh, this is just... Okay, let's go! Let's go! Ooh! Well, that was something! Arr, now's not the time to relax. I need to hurry to the ancient ruin on the second island. Okay, hold on. I just need to take a sip of water. Holy shit. It is all kicking off. Ooh. Okay. Um... Am I on the second island? Oh yeah, I am, okay. Why is it snowing? I feel like reality is really breaking down. It's not even showing the things anymore to tell me what stuff is. And the waterfalls in the background are kind of glitching a bit as well. Oh my god, we're finally going to go in. Oh, this is weird. Um... Somehow it is quite nerve-wracking. Yeah. Can I make is it really safe to go inside? What's going to be in there? You are a boy, right? Uh, actually, it's so unreliable to be freaked out like that. You're a man, aren't you? 
there's also that countdown. There's no time to stand around. I'm gonna do it! Damn right, it's our last chance to get inside. <laughs> Shit, uh, what was the other... <laughs> God, you see, we're getting all the freaking characters coming back. This is weird. It's bizarre. I'm just, I'm just weirded out that nobody's kind of commented on what's going on. Is this all in Hajime's head? And his mind's cracked or something? Or is this just, like I say, the virtual reality breaking down? Blimey, I'm, I'm starting to feel nauseous from the thrills, the chills, the kills. Thanks. Ah, if you're gonna let it out, oh, why not do it in the top of where I keep with me? Dumbass! Hey, Louie, now's all the time to fuck around. Young master for you, Hiko. Oh god, you were Russian, weren't you? It's going to be alright, comrade. You don't have to worry, I will protect young master. Now then, let's go forward together. <laughs> like glorious sure. communist motherland. Hey, Louis, the hell? Don't treat me like a fucking kid. This is your leader's order. Believe that hope lies beyond this point. That is your leader's order. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that interjection, Ibuki. What? What was that? <laughs> I'll tell you that you're just Piggy Talk. <laughs> I said you're so cool in Piggy Talk. In the name of my family. I'm going to kill you. Hajime. The password, please. Aye, I know. Oh boy. Oh. 11037, right? It's gonna be fine. There's no need for you to worry. The only thing beyond this point is a shining future. Now then, let's open the door to the future. Oh man. What's in there? What is it? Arr, beyond this door. The future is waiting. A sparkling future. Now then, let's move forward. Arr. Oh, it's not gonna be good. Oh no. This has gotta be the end game phase, this has. Is this a trial ground? But why am I at a trial ground? It sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the one from before. Um, by the way... Huh? Um, where did everyone go? Are, you all, are all our memories getting fucked with here? Hmm? Everyone? What is happening? This is actually really creepy. Arr, what? Something's wrong. Oh, what is happening? The Matrix is glitching again. Arr, what did I do? Oh my god. No, that's not it. I'm not the weird one. What's really weird is... <laughs> I don't like it. This world? What is happening? Oh. That's it. Is the countdown up? Holy shit, that thing's going crazy. The world is breaking down. This is a virtual reality. I think there's no speculation, is there, at this point? We know. Stage clear? What? Smile at hope in the name of despair. Chapter 5, end. Oh, no. Oh, my God, it's all... Ugh. This reminds me more of like a horror game now. Okay, well I obtained Chiaki's backpack. <laughs> Gamer's backpack, that's what it's called. I got achievement as well. Okay, maybe I should have played on till this section to complete chapter 5. Oh, I'm dead again, not. I suppose uh, opening with Chiaki suddenly appearing back from the dead. It's quite a good way to start the episode. Yes, I definitely want to save the progress. Put it there, please. 
Chapter Zero. Heading to the school trip. Oh, is that sound in the background? Oh, it would be wrong to say it was swaying from side to side. It was actually shaking rather intensely. The room I was in, it was shaking from side to side. The shaking was quite irregular. Just when you thought it was a series of small shakes. My god, that noise is loud in the background. It would suddenly shake violently. And every time that happened, I'd have to steady myself with my foot. I couldn't stand up very well, but for me, it was comforting. I never thought not knowing what to expect could be so fun, so I was feeling rather excited. But I figured I'd get bored of that feeling soon enough. What is happening? What's going on? That's what I was expecting. For me, a person who is loved by talent. Detecting regularities among irregularities won't, won't be that difficult. Ah, how boring. Oh. Do you like ships? Oh, are we on a boat? Or on a ship? Oh, on the other side of the dark room I heard a voice. It was clearly directed at me. Ah, you look like you were having fun, so that's what I assumed. You do like ships, right? Oh, uh, ships? Is this even Hajime talking here? Because come to think of it, it's not actually saying that it's him. It's a character that we don't know. It's just question marks. Maybe I'll just talk normally if this is ships. No, that's right. That's it. So this is a ship. You just realise that now. Is it really that funny? Hey, if you want, care to talk a little? The silence was starting to bore me. Instantly I saw his true character. The over-familiar attitude, the friendly smile. But under that thin skin, I could detect a foul, offensive odour, like some kind of putrid slime. In a sensible way, of course. How should I put this? It was a smell exclusive to those who were already finished. Nice to meet you. I'm Nogito Komaeda. Anyway, lucky me. It's been a while since anyone was willing to talk to me, so to share a room with a person like that... Yep, yeah, I'm definitely lucky. Lucky? Ah, so that's your talent then. What a boring talent. A boring talent, huh? Well, that's exactly what it is. But for someone I'm meeting for the first time to say that so suddenly... That's because I have luck as well. Huh? Even I possess a talent as boring as luck. Possess, huh? I'm starting to get really interested. Who are you? You're obviously from Oaks Peak Academy too, right? So you're one of us? Ah, but that's weird. This is the first time I've ever seen you. Hey, can you tell me why you're here? How did you end up here? I wish that sound in the background would quiet down a bit. How boring. Oh, sorry. I'm often told I'm terrible at making conversation. God, I don't like the way Nagato is just looking straight at the screen like that. Slightly creepy. Not you. This world. Huh? This world is full of boring people. People who lack talent stick together and oppress those who do possess talent. Even though they know they're insignificant, they don't try to acknowledge their true superiors. They are profoundly desperate to drag them down to their level. And because of these bastards, this world has come to a deadlock. This world has stopped evolving. How boring. Well, the world is shaped by the will of the majority. It makes sense that it bends to those who lack talent. That's why we're in our present situation. Ah, perhaps. Does that have anything to do with the reason you're here? Boring people make no contributions to the world. Not even a speck of dust. That's why my teachers taught me that a certain degree of selection must be performed. Looks like they had high expectations for you, huh? That's completely different from me. But what are you planning to do? Now that you've ended up like this, there's nothing you can do, right? Listen well. Using people is a talent too. It is now my turn to use that person, just as they used me in the past. That person? Are you talking about ultimate despair? 
ultimate despair. You mean Junko? But how? I mean, they're already... I have it with me. Is he about to say they're already dead? The contribution that person left to me, even now, it rests in my pocket. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, I'm definitely lucky. I can't believe I'm speaking with someone as amazing as you. Uh. Is that... the hymn music playing again in the background? You can't really hear it because of that sound effect. It's really strange. What is going on with Nagato's fingernails? Uh. Then will I be able to see her again? They're talking about Junko. Who is this person? And what have they brought? Will I be able to see the person I hate with every fibre of my being again? And this time... Will I be able to kill her this time? The person I hate so much? Hate? Then explain your hand. Yeah, what's with his hand? What is happening? Ah, oh, this, the end of that bandage, is a woman's hand, right? What? This is weird. Haha. <laughs> He's laughing like crazy. Isn't it amazing? I can't move it, of course. I mean, it's not my hand, after all. But, even now, it still hasn't rotted. Hey, maybe that means it's becoming one with me. Isn't it amazing? I have successfully become one with ultimate despair, my sworn enemy. What? Are you saying that's Junko's hand? What? I see. So you salvaged the body. You really are a boring person. What the fuck is going on? This is freaking me out. I don't want you to misunderstand. I just see her as my enemy, you know. Because she's my sworn enemy. Because I hate her so much. That's why I took her power. And for that I... Wait, huh? Do I hate her? Ah, that's strange. Huh? Uh, I don't like it. Ah, oh, look out the window. We're finally here. You're starting to see it too, right? That's Jabberwock Island, isn't it? Isn't it exciting? I wonder what's going to happen on that island once we get there. What's going to happen? I can already predict what will happen. Huh? I already know, because I am loved by talent. But no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Hmm? Really? I don't really understand, but I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There is no reason we'll ever meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? was that section? <sighs> but why is it chapter zero? What's that about? Because surely it'd be chapter six. And it said heading on the school trip. <sighs> that hand. I, I'm not making things up here, am I? That is actually Junko's hand on Nagito's body. It's actually something that happened. Oh my god, I don't even know. Arr! What is this? What is it? Oh. We're back here. It's a door. There is a door. Arr! A door. Oh, there's a door here. It's like the beginning again. No wonder... Well, I guess that's why it's chapter zero. Sorry, I'm just taking a sip of water since uh, Hajime's voice does my throat in constantly. Where am I? How did I get here? Where am I supposed to go? 
through the door, I guess. <gasps> We're back here, in the classroom. Oh my god, this is... Ooh, I don't know. Arr, isn't this a classroom? But even so, it's a very strange classroom. Why am I in a place like this? I went inside the ancient ruin with everyone else. And I arrived at a place that looked like a trial ground. But then, why? It's not connecting. Hold on, I need more water. Hmm. I should just leave the bottle cap off in case I need it. As long as I don't knock it off my desk. It's not connecting. I don't know why I'm here. Arr. It's like there's no connection between how I left the trial ground and how I ended up here. Because you're in a virtual reality. That's why. God, I'm sorry, I'm just knocking my microphone a bit. It's just like before. When we were all gathered in that classroom just before we arrived at Jabberwock Island. Arr. But where is this place? Is it somewhere on Jabberwock Island? Uh, what is it? It's glitching again. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Oh no. Isn't that the line he said at the Star Trek Happy Havoc when he first appeared on the monitors? Oh no. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Do you reckon this is the exact same line of dialogue taken from the... I mean, well, obviously the, the words I think are the same, but the actual um, speech, the actual line, do you reckon they just took it from the previous game? Welcome to Hope Speak Academy, you guys! At this point, I shall explain the graduation exam to you all. Okay, that's new. So please assemble at the gymnasium immediately! Oh my god, are we back in Hope's Peak? <gasps> I mean, obviously we're in the classroom, but... Obviously at the start of the game, the walls fell away and we were on Jabberwock Island. But are we actually now back in Hope's Peak? Or a sort of weird version of it? Arr! Did he say what I think he just said? Yes, he definitely said it. He said, Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. But... Why would this place be... Bleh, let me say that again. Why would this place be Hope's Peak? And not just that, what is the graduation exam? Isn't the killing over already? Oh, it's even got the friggin' iron plates over the bloody windows. Let's do it. What's out there? Oh, oh god, it's all a bit glitchy. Arr, even the hallway doesn't feel like a school at all. What a creepy place. We're back, everyone. Welcome back to Hope's Peak, or at least some kind of sinister, demented version of it. I mean, you know, this, the, it was pretty sinister in the last game. But this is uh, weird, because obviously we're still in the virtual reality, I'm guessing, here. Judging by what we can see over in that direction. Or at least it doesn't look like a normal school at all. It's definitely a lie. There's no way this place is Hope's Peak Academy. Is this creepy place the Hope Speak Academy that I've admired for so long? Just thinking, 1A, is that not the same classroom that Makoto woke up in at the start of Trigger Happy Havoc? Because it was one of the ground floor classrooms. Because each floor, I think, has two classrooms on them. And some of them obviously have additional things like, you know, the labs for sciences, the physics lab, the chem lab, things like that. Uh, it's probably a building that Monokuma made to startle us, just like the fun house. That's right, that's definitely it. Monokuma said to come to the gymnasium, right? Then I'll go and definitely clear things up. Oh my god. Oh god, yeah. Because that's the passage to the dormitories. Or, you know, what were once the dormitories. 1A. Oh, there's the old door to the old trial ground. Oh my. Ugh. There's a weird eye symbol on that door. Oh, this is weird. This is so weird. Oh, it's really dark down there. Oh. <laughs> Staircase barred. All the doors we can't actually go through. It just wants us to go here. Oh, Lord. The gymnasium is here, right? Alright, I'm going inside. 
Something might be waiting, but I'm not going to cower away anymore. Arr. And so I brace myself and cautiously open the door. Oh my. Chapter 6. This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. So chapter 0 was just a little interjection. Right, so I'm guessing chapter 0 must be something that happened before the events at the very start of the game, then, I'm guessing. So Nagito and someone else on a ship, heading to Jabbawock Island. Possibly the actual Jabbawock Island? I'm not sure. I wasn't prepared for what was waiting for me on the other side of that door. Because the thing is, I'm still, you know, it's a virtual reality. But what's, what's real and what is in the virtual world? That's the question. Oh my god, this is familiar territory. Arr, it was a normal gymnasium. Damn right. Hey, Louis, how'd you make? Yo. You heard the announcement and came here too. Arr, you guys did too, right? What's going on? G'day, mates. Hey, what do you make of all this? Monokuma said this place was Oaks Peak Academy or something. That is... That cannot be possible. Well, yeah. Hey, Louis, you're right. Any way you look at it, it's impossible. <laughs> yeah. Hello! How does it feel to return to long-awaited Oaks Peak Academy? Why, you... You... Hey, where are we? Where'd you lock us up this time? Th that What a shock! I just told you guys this is Oaks Peak Academy! Of course not! You know, mates, there's no way in hell that's true! No, no! Oh, but it is! I mean, this is definitely Oaks Peak Academy! Well, what's left of it, anyway? Or uh, what's left of it? Well, what? Didn't I tell you before? Unfortunately, Hope Speak Academy fell to ruin. Lies! Are you were serious about that? Hmm. Need more water. Stupid fool! I don't believe it. Hmm. But of course it fell to ruin. I mean, they were doing things that they deserve to be ruined for. Uh, what do you mean? I don't like this! Anyway, I'm pretty disappointed. I went to all this trouble to bring you to Hope Speak Academy, and you don't feel surprised or nostalgic. Fine, fine. Oh, trust me, I feel kind of nostalgic for the first game. Trigger Happy Habit was such a uh, memorable experience to play. Oh well, it's not like I did this for you guys. <laughs> Even if you don't feel nostalgic, I'm sure someone is feeling nostalgic right now. <laughs> Are you breaking the fourth wall? Oh, Monokuma, you sly dog. Or bear, even. Or someone. Don't fuck with me! Hey, Louie, enough of this bullshit. Just spit it out already. You... Where'd you take us, you bastard? Um... Though I am not certain of my memories, I believe we entered the ancient ruin and... In other words... It means... I made this Hope's Peak Academy between the door to the ruin and the inside of the ruin. <sighs> it's a virtual reality. We know this. We, we, that's what we're going with, everyone. I'm going to drop the whole... I'm imagining it is. I'm just going to say it is at this point. I've been repeating that a few times now. I need to stop. Well, what do you mean between? Hey, hey, hey! G'day, mates. What do you mean made? What's this? Oh, my. Your mind's getting the grumblies that only knowledge can satisfy. <laughs> good. Very good. It's fine to hurry along to the graduation exam, but it's in my nature to provide a little entertainment. Uh, entertainment. You're planning to make us do something, aren't you? No way! It's nothing to be, to be so cautious about. It's not like you'll be making life exchanges or anything like that. Zing! It's just a simple simple graduation exam. Need another drink? Ah. Oh my. Hey, Louis, then what is the graduation exam? Hey, um... Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know. On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate. Are you sure about this? But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. So? That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island, or stay here. Arr. Why? We're obviously going to get out. There's no way we'd stay here. That's right. Get out, mates. This is annoying. Just hurry up and let us choose. Let us choose right now. No, no, no. You can't do that. The main cast hasn't arrived yet. Um... Main cast? Oh, that sounded more like Monokuma. Main cast? Hey, um... 
Meaning, you guys are just extras until the Guest of Honor arrives. Damn it! So enough complaining already. Hurry up and start researching the outside world. Uh, what do you mean? Uh-huh. I have dispersed all the teaching materials you need for your research throughout Hope's Peak Academy. Well, I don't think this needs to be said, but... <laughs> All the information is accurate and contains no lies whatsoever. Otherwise, the main cast is going to hate me. <laughs> Oof, getting gas from me water. Coming up my throat. So please rest assured and strive to do your best during your field trip. Arr, and as usual, after leaving us with his cryptic words, Monokuma disappeared. Even if the setting had changed, even if the killing was finished, he was still the same as usual. Arr. Um... What is going on? Outside world? Main cast? Somehow I have a bad feeling about this, my sweet friends. Hey, hey! You know, it's like you kept insisting that this place is Oaks Peak Academy. Hmm. But that's impossible, right? What are you saying? Hey, Louie, how do we make it back to Oaks Peak Academy from a tropical island in the first place? It's impossible. It cannot be! There is no place for Oaks Peak Academy to exist on Jabberwock Island. <laughs> I said I wanted to go back, but I don't want to go back to a creepy place like this. Oh, what does this mean? That's my question exactly, Hajime. Hmm. Ah, I need more water. So many things I don't understand have happened on the island. This building is really Hope's Peak Academy? Hmm, no. No, Hajime. The truth will be revealed to you soon. Oh, uh, this is... This be the Hope's Peak Academy I've been, I've been admiring for so long. What in the world is going on? Arr. Damn it, why is this happening? Why? I was finally able to attend Hope Speak Academy. I finally thought I'd become confident in myself. Even so, I... Wanted to become Hope? If that's what, you, what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by Ope to become Ope. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Ope's Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. Or if I really am a nobody, then you should have just left me alone. Why? Why do I have to go through something like this? Um... Hajime, did something happen? Arr. Hey, bastard! Hey, Louie, now's not the time to zone out. Oh, sorry, it's nothing. Um... I don't really get it, but is that all? I'm gonna do it! As long as I don't beat the crap out of Monokuma, nothing's gonna be solved. Is that what it means? Hey! Gnami, it's just what the heck is Monokuma anyway? He's not part of the Future Foundation, right? Um... If you say that, then what is the Future Foundation? Jeez... Hey, Louis, even though Chiaki and Monomi are gone, our situation hasn't changed one bit. Which means, the Future Foundation wasn't our enemy. That's the only thing I can think of. Finally, you start to think about that. You serious? Can I make so they're not the World Ender? Then we really were tricked by Monokuma? However... The Future Foundation is responsible for trapping us on this island, right? Regarding that matter, I believe Monomi never once denied that. Yes, which means there's still that big question of why. Why were we trapped on this island? What was the point of doing so? Damn it. Even if they're our allies, they might not just be allies. Arr, maybe Monokuma is telling us to investigate that information on our own. Arr, Chiaki said she could not betray the Future Foundation. But if she was still alive, she definitely would have helped us. No. Even her just being with us would have been a big help. Arr. Hmm. Can I make so what shall we do? Damn it. Hey, Louie, well, that's obvious. If we're going to get out of here safely, we have to do that graduation exam, right? So annoying. Graduation exam, huh? I'm not really good at taking exams. Huh. Well, I guess it's better than people dying. Jeez. Hey, Louie, Monokuma said something about a field trip, right? Is he telling us to investigate like we have been? All right! I'm going to do it. Prepare yourself. Like... Yeah, we might be able to learn about something, about Oaks Peak Academy, about ourselves. Uh. I don't care if we don't know any more. If we can just go back to our normal lives, I'm fine. Hey! That sounds more like Nagito. <laughs> can I make say? We can go home when this is over, right? We can finally get off this damn island, right? Hmm. 
Hey, Louis, if that's the case, let's all leave this island alive by any means. Of course! Hell yes! <laughs> she has those moments. Arr, he's right. Now's not the time to be moan how unlucky I am. Where this place really is, what's happened to Oak Peak Academy? None of that matters. What's important is... I need to leave this island with the others. We sacrificed so many lives in order to survive, just so we could do that. There's no way we can stop now. But... Monokuma should already know that that's what we're thinking. So why did he say that? We have to decide on our own whether or not we want to leave Jabberwock Island. He should already know that we'd never choose to stay on this island. Hey, hey! I have a feeling he's banking on the whole, uh, putting you into despair when you, you realise the state of the outside world. So what are we going to do? Can we start already? Hmm. Can I make support what are we even looking for? Do we just have to investigate this weird-ass building? Even so. I don't think we'll find the answers to all our questions inside this damn building. <laughs> well, I'll just go on ahead for now. Whoa! Can I make hey, you're already going? Jeez. Hey, Louie, what is that idiot thinking running ahead without being cautious? Man. You know, make sure obviously isn't thinking about anything. However... It will be fine. There will be... There will no longer be any situations where we must exchange... It's getting late. I need to uh, probably stop the recording session soon. There will no longer be any situations where we must exchange each other's lives. All right! So we should do our best as well. Like they say, it is not scary if everyone stops at a green light. Or if we stopped at a green light, we'd never reach our goal. Jeez, you're pathetic. Hey, Louie, I can't I already took off on our own. It might be faster if we split up and look around too. Huh. Like Sonia said, if there's no more killing, we don't have to worry about anyone betraying us anymore. <laughs> Good night, mates, then. Let's get this over with and go home. Later. Hey, Louie, I'll go on ahead. I'll see you guys later. Alright, with those brief words, for Yahiko left the gymnasium. Excuse me? I shall do my best to obtain a wonderful clue that will be useful to everyone. Now then, please excuse me. Iris, Sonia took a deep bow and left the gymnasium. Oh my! Good night, mates, Miss Sonia! Miss Sonia! Please don't leave me! I'll be in danger if I'm left alone! Ira, Kazuichi chased after Sonia, who had just departed and left the gymnasium. I should hurry and start too. Just a bit more. Just a bit more and it's gonna end. I can escape this nightmare and return to my usual peaceful, everyday life. The only thing we can do is advance toward that hope. Even though I don't understand. And that a lot of horrifying things keep happening. For the sake of everyone who couldn't make it this far, I'm definitely gonna go home. Oh boy! Well... Oh god, there's a Monokuma up there! <laughs> I knew you could do it! I get Monocoins, do I? Yeah. Even though... I'm probably not gonna be able to go to a... Mono Mono Eashin at any time soon. Okay, we'll tell you what. Been recording for about 40 minutes there, something around that kind of length. So I think it's time to wrap this episode up here. I think this is a logical place to conclude it. So, next episode, final investigation? Question mark. And we're going to be investigating Hoax Peak Academy. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, obviously it's not. I don't think it's the Hoax Peak Academy. It's a virtual reality version, but you know, it's close enough. Oh man, we definitely, we definitely must be approaching an end game situation, mustn't we? It's getting there. I feel like that's what's that's why we're getting to. So we had all kinds of weird shit happen that episode. Obviously it glitches in the Matrix. And that scene, chapter zero, with Nagato and someone else. Hmm. I'll have to ruminate on this between episodes. Okay, so if you're not doing so already, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Link's down below, along with a link to my general Red Propagandist channel where I do various anime-related content. If you're interested in that kind of thing, go check it out. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, do comment, share the video with your friends on social media, and if you're not done so already, why not uh, subscribe to my channel? But in the meantime, this is General Red signing off. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, go. oh. that's it. Oh god, no, don't hit me. Ah, come on now. Where are you? Oh shit. Uh, bad. Oh, that's bad. That's very, very bad. Uh, don't you dare. Right, just wait for him, wait for him. He's gonna disappear into this swamp. Go. Can I get you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Get on him. There we go. Gotcha. Are you gonna come out of there? 
Yep. Oh, he's doing this again. Okay. God, what an ugly bastard. Seriously. 